Hello, Mr. Raiden. So, where we left off, I was in the SUV, the black SUV, and the three monsters were with me. So, I remember them starting to drive off. I remember seeing this, the car, Sally's car, and seeing a few kids coming out, which, aka, were Percy, Thalia, and, yeah, Annabeth. But, really, is I always seem to just narrowly avoid them. I really miss them. Anyways, they drove me for a while, and I heard Cronus's voice ask me if I was ready to do what he wanted. And I said, yeah, I'm ready. I give up. I've been fighting for three years now, not to fall under his control. But the last but Bianca broke me. All I wanted was a friend. <laughs> Even if I had a crush on Nico, I wouldn't tell him. I was too afraid of rejection. And so, I really just wanted a friend, a family. Cornelius asked if I wanted, if I was ready to do what he wanted, and I said yes. After a while, I fell asleep. The next time I woke up, we were close to New York. Soon we came up to the Empire State Building. It was winter, and it was night. I remember being told that they couldn't come with me, and that I had to do it all alone. And so, I went in and up to Olympus. It was so cold. It, even in Olympus, the grass was frosted, and as I stepped on it, it crunched. I remember that. And I remember hurrying into the hall. It was warmer in there. And I walked, I walked around and finally found a chamber. In it, the Big Three's relics were... The Helmet of Hades, the Helmet of Darkness, the Helmet of Darkness, um, the Helmet of Darkness, the Lightning Bolts, and my father's trident. I passed both the Helm and the Lightning Bolt and came in front of the trident. Kronos wanted me to steal it. I remember reaching out and was about to touch it, but I didn't. I stopped myself. After that, I heard someone walking, and I saw light coming towards me, and I saw lights coming on. And I turned tail and ran. I ran down the lawn, down to the elevator, down out of the building, and pa completely past the black SUV. All three of the, mo of the monsters jumped out of the car and raced after me. This gave me a burst of speed. I ran, and ran as fast as I could. I skidded down an alley, and fell. I landed into the labyrinth. I remember running, getting up and running down a clay hallway lit by torches. Darkness. Lost. Panic. Soon, after I don't know how long wandering, I was hungry, of course. Mrs. O'Leary found me. She brought me to Daedalus, and he took care of me for a while. He sent me out for a mission, told me to not lose track of the string, of course. But being an idiot I am, I mean, of course, there there's two different things. Having wisdom and using it, I make a lot of stupid decisions. Even Athena admitted she'd make stupid decisions. <laughs> um, anyways. 
I made a few stupid decisions and I lost the string. I wandered for a while and finally made my way up and I found my way up. Unfortunately, it was in Las Vegas, literally right, I'm pretty sure right in Lotus Casino. I came up and it was a blur. I got caught up into it and after a while, two monsters came. They were very well cloaked in the mist and my brain being not very well trained to monster mist anymore to do everything the flowers had, the lotus blossoms had, the, you know, the eating ones, and the chronos in my brain, they took me to a custom prison personally made by chronos to keep me in check. He wanted to, he wanted to erase my memories to for me to be easily more controlled i need to learn to keep my big mouth shut because i think i gave him that idea i pretty sure i said if i were you i would erase my memories because that is when i am at my most vulnerable you can i am very innocent and naive at that point and you can control me easier yeah, i literally said that to chronos and i know i'm an idiot because <sighs> I mean, I just think that I have an inability to lie, and I suck at lying, just saying, and I really suck at lying. I mean, I always suck at lying, and then, yeah, I'm so tired, but <laughs> Athena has answered a lot of my questions. Athena actually allows me to call her mom. Because she's more like my mom than anyone has ever been. So really, I have family. Though Kronos did go on his bargain, he gave me a family. Just not the one that I really wanted. A true family. Because my life here is a lie. And what I wanted was a true family. My family is Athena, Poseidon, Ares, Hermes, Percy, Bianca, Nico, Will, Leo, Jason, Piper, Grover. They're all my family. And I'd do anything for my family. But it seems that Cronus is cutting me off again, tantalizingly waving my escape in front of me, and withdrawing it at the last second. So I have no one. <sighs> Mr. Iredon, sir? Please, do me a favor. As soon as you get this, help me. Um, and if you're watching this and you're not Mr. Riordan, please share all of these the three parts of these. So, it may get a lot of views and attract Mr. Riordan's attention. You guys are the best subscribers ever, so please... Share it and get it out to Mr. Riordan. Love you guys. Bye. And I swear on the river Styx that I am telling the truth. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. I swear on the river Styx that I am not lying about any of this. Thank you. Bye.